Good morning. It's Friday, December 2nd. It's got to be close to quarter to nine. Um, I don't normally get home from work this late, but my shift ends at seven. And we usually relieve each other like 15 minutes before. So my normal shift is seven to seven, whether it's days or nights, that's my shift. Um, and then people were chatty as I was on my way out. So I ended up there a little bit later. And then it's our work Christmas party tonight. So I had a couple of things I needed to pay last minute before I went to bed. <laughs> um, and then it's going to be like the mad dash this afternoon to get the last minute stuff done. And I don't know, look pretty, I guess, for the party. Might even wear a dress, which I'm dreading. I just want to wear my big jeans and be happy. <laughs> but I don't think that's going to happen. Anyway... Um, I wanted to show you guys the sweater and where it's up to you because I finished the second mini. Um, I was wondering, and it's funny because Lorelai left a comment on my last uh, episode on day one Vlogmas. Uh, she asked if I was going to use her whole mini skein because hers are more yardage than we had agreed on. We had talked about 10 gram minis, but hers are closer to 20. I think she said they're 17. They're an ounce, maybe something like that. I have to weigh it. Um, and it's quite big. And I'm worried that I will have too much yarn for my sweater. So what I've decided, I think I'm going to do is separate her, her little minis and save the rest of the, you know, whatever's over 10 grams. I'll save it and put it in my scrappy blanket. I think. Because I don't want to run out of sweater. Right? So, the sweater's downstairs in my work bag. I didn't even unpack. Pretty sure I unpacked my lunch. I think. I hate it when I forget to unpack my lunch and I leave meat in the in my lunchbox. And I'm like, oh. oh. Anyway. I'm too lazy to go get it to show you guys now. So, I'll show it to you when I get up. While I'm having my coffee. And I'll open day two minis. A little bit later this afternoon. Sheesh. I like it so much better when it's dark. Good morning again. It's probably about 2.15 in the afternoon. Let's see. Yeah, 2.17. <gasps> that's the coffee maker. I already cheated and got coffee though because that's my mug for today. I got this from um, I had a trainer last year and she ended up getting me this for Christmas, which I thought was hilarious. I love the lady on it. Super classy. Here we are. Day two. I need a lot of coffee today. Five hours of sleep is not enough. But I brought my glasses. Let's put them on just in case. Alrighty. Number two. These little bags are so stinking cute. Ooh, another good color. Oop, I think I pulled off some of the... I pulled it out of the bag. One moment, please. I dig it. So cute. It's very soft. So again, it's gonna go really well in the sweater. And then Lorelai told me yesterday that some of the yarns are written on the flap. Oh, I didn't even notice because it was dark yesterday. So the white green is called six and seven fiber clover sock. Six and seven fiber, I've never heard of them. I'm gonna have to look that one up in a second. So here's box number two. Mm -hmm. I love these little, all these little bunums. Oh, pink. I'm gonna have like a bunch of pile of these candies because I'm always opening them when I have, when I'm having my coffee first thing in the morning. I'm not gonna eat candy, it's weird, eh? And then I forget that they're there. So check this one out. That is a really nice color. So I'm gonna break it down so it's kind of closer to the this size and then 
put it in the sweater. And we have another sticker. Lorelai loves stickers. I like stickers too. I'm just too cheap to buy them. And there's writing on it. So here we go. Oh, these must be all Gilmore Girls stickers. Once Luke Danes is in your life, he is in your life forever. I dig it. Super cute. <laughs> and he's carrying coffee. What better thing? Right? Thanks, dude. I dig it. So this pink yarn is called Other Kingdom Suede Sock Yarn. I really like this color. It's pretty nice. So we have decided that Milan definitely needs more than five hours of sleep because I am pooped. I have a pile of things to do. Well, not a pile, but well, I have an actual pile, but it doesn't need to get done today. It's like paperwork. Um, but I have to get ready. I have to like do things with my hair and maybe my face. I'll probably have to shave my legs because I don't know. They haven't seen a razor since Ryan Gosling was Canadian, so it's probably a good idea, right? Unless I wear a long dress and tights and nobody knows. Hmm. Coffee is the best. The bestest. So I told you guys I would show you the sweater and where it's at. So I'll show it to you in the way it's gonna be worn. And where's the front? Here's the front. I think it looks pretty nice so far. It actually looks even better in the camera than it does in person. It's coming along, isn't it? I like it. So I literally, I stopped right when I needed to switch colors and I put it to the front so that I can connect my next color. So I wonder if I should put the pink in first to kind of break up the white or if I should just keep going with the white because this one's going to have a little bit more color because these were this one was kind of a a white with a little bit of gray with a little pops of kind of a rust color and then this one was white with green like various shades of green but this one whoop play this one has like all kinds of colors so I think I'll put this one in first and then I'll put this one in. I think I can't wait to put this one. It's gonna be nice. So at some point last night, it was quiet enough that I was able to get on Amazon because it was pretty busy in the first part of the night. And when you do the radio, you're a little bit more engaged because there's people talking to you. So we, uh, we typically have two people that answer phones. So 911s and then regular phones. And then one person does the radio. Then if one of the other two ends up getting a fire call, then that person's kind of like, tag, you're doing the fire call. So uh, it was pretty busy until I'd say midnight, a little bit after midnight. And then, then it was good, which is nice. So I went on Amazon and I bought those slip covers for my couch. So when I repainted this year, it used to be all different shades of brown in here. Um, it was really cottagey. It was nice, but I kind of got sick of it. So the only color that's left is this yellow. Ooh, ooh. And uh, the rest is all white. I just wanted, I don't know if I was going through something this summer. I just like felt like I couldn't breathe all the time. Uh, had a lot to do with my dad being in the hospital and all that stuff and not having time and all that. So I just painted everything white and I think it looks wonderful. I need to put some pictures back up. But I really wanted a new couch. The one I have is kind of a creamy, well, it's kind of like a butterscotch uh, leather couch and then the really loud red chair, which I would normally like, but I don't know, it's getting on my nerves. So I wanted to buy a new couch and chair from Article, but they're really expensive. And I have kind of a, I don't like debt, first of all, but I'm also putting in all new windows. I have like two floors in the house. Well, there's three kind of, there's the basement, the main, and then the, the bedroom floor with a bathroom. So I'm replacing all the windows because they're original to the house from 96. And 
they leak like really bad. I was sitting on the couch the other night and I could just sworn I could feel a breeze in, in the house. I'm on the couch. Like, you know, I'm at least six feet from a window. But anyway, they're coming. They're a bit delayed. They were supposed to be in, in November, but it's going to be December. I don't think I'm terribly sad that they're coming in if they come in in January instead. Because that means I don't have to pay for the balance <laughs> until January. But it's going to be such a pain if they change them when it's cold. Anyway, rant. I rant. I'm ranting. Uh, I really wanted a new couch and a new chair, but I have a hard time spending money. And that's, I have to explain. Because I think I'm probably worse than the average Joe. Unless it's yarn, obviously. Yarn and fiber and wide leg jeans <laughs> lately. I only bought two and they were on sale. Um, I have been to Uganda twice for a mission trip. And the poverty I saw when I was there was, it's, it was like beyond. I didn't even know. You know when you see those, um, the commercials on TV looking for donations, people living in dirt huts. It still happens. People still live that way. Like we think because we see it on TV, it's just made up. It's not made up. I saw lots of kids were running around with, you know, holes in their shorts. And that's the only piece of clothing they have. No shoes. They're walking around like all over the place with no shoes on. I've been there. I've seen that twice. I still support uh, two kids, two girls, sisters, actually. Uh, me, my mom, and my sister, and sometimes my son. We send money over there. We pay for them to go to school and for food and when they get sick for medication, stuff like that. So every time I think of buying something, I think to myself, like, I'd rather send money to the girls or, you know, tuitions due soon for, they, they go to a residential school, like they live there. Um, so the tuition, it's not a lot per, for, for our standards, but I love that I can do this. I love that for me, this is a priority. I will always, always support them as long as they, they need it. Uh, they're 10 and 11. Anyway, I'll put a picture of them right here. They're super cute. The last time I saw them, the younger sister was so little that it, I would just carry her around and she would fall asleep and drool all over my shirt. The year before it was her sister. Anyway, that was a long story. Just to tell you that I bought velvet covers for my couch on Amazon. <laughs> um, the couch and chair probably together would have been close to $4,000. But I got the couch covers for two fifty dollars for the couch and the chair. So let's hope they don't look like ours and it transforms the whole space. I'm going to go drink my coffee and knit. There really won't be a lot of content today because... I have to get ready for the Christmas party and then I won't film at my Christmas party because I want to have a good time and not think about stuff. A bientôt. I actually ended up with two 10 gram balls. So she definitely went over the 10 gram <laughs> mini limit and now I have two. So one for my blanket and one for my sweater. How fun. I'm really looking forward to a slow weekend. It also looks like we might be getting a big storm tomorrow because I got this notice from the hydro company. I guess I don't need power to knit or spin. As long as I have daylight, it'll be fine, right? So this is my fancy makeup. I just put on eyeliner and an extra layer of uh, mascara. My eyeliner will probably be at the top of my eyelid by the end of the night, but so far, also my ride is gonna be here in about 20 minutes and I'm not dressed and my hair's not dry. So I guess I'm gonna finish getting ready at, uh, at my friend Julie's. So I gotta find, figure out what dress I'm wearing. So I still have to blow dry my hair, but this is what's going on right now. That is it with my docs. Bink. Badass, right? So hair done, well, at least dried. I might get Julie to crimp it for me to see if, I don't know, maybe I'll just leave it straight. It's already more than I usually do blow drying it. So I'm at Julie's house with her husband. He's in the shower and she's at our friend Carly's getting her hair done and her makeup done. So we're definitely going to be late for the party. So I'm going to say goodnight here. I hope you had a lovely day too. 
December 2nd. It's Friday, so it's the weekend. And uh, we'll chat tomorrow. See you later. Also, I am wearing a real bra. I normally wear sports bras because they're more comfortable or no bra if I can pull off a tank top. But I am wearing a real bra. It's a bit too small because I have gotten bigger and the bra has not. That's all.